Hi everyone, now that school has started and everyone has access to their computers, a lot of your teachers will be asking you to read your homework, in-class readings, etc. on your computer screen. And they will either send you a PDF file of your reading or they'll upload it to their blog or Edmodo and you'll access the reading there. That means you're going to have something like this on the screen. And it's going to require that you're able to write on it and what we call annotate, which is to highlight, underline important things, be able to write on the text. And right now, you don't have that feature available to you. So I'm going to walk you through the steps that will allow you to be able to write on these documents. We're going to go to a program that is called Adobe Acrobat. And the way that you're going to get here is you're going to go to the top of your computer screen and you'll see the Open Apple Finder File Edit View and Go. When you click on Go, you're going to pull down or toggle down to the Applications folder and you see it says the word Applications. When you click on that, all of the applications that you have available to you on your school supplied MacBook is right here. So you can see everything that you have access to in your Applications folder. At the top right hand corner, at the very top, we see Adobe Acrobat X10 Pro. So this is the program that we're actually going to install on your computer. And what I need for you to do is to click on Adobe Acrobat. And as you click and hold, you're going to drag it down to the dock at the bottom of your screen. And once you do that, it's going to show up at the bottom of your screen. And you will notice that it took me a couple times to get it to stay there, and that's okay. Be patient, do this slowly. Once it's at the bottom of your screen, you're going to open Adobe Acrobat Pro. And it's going to take a minute to do that. And it'll pop open in this little binder here, and then you're going to get all this stuff popping up on the screen. Don't panic if it doesn't pop up in the fashion that I just showed you. A few computers have taken a couple of minutes, but once you open here, Adobe Acrobat Pro, and it shows up down here at the bottom of your screen, these two windows in front of you will show up, okay? So the first one says, Adobe Acrobat Pro is not currently configured to be the default application for PDF files. Would you like to make PDF files open with Adobe Acrobat instead of Preview? We want you to click Do Not Show This Message Again and click Yes. We want all of your PDF files to open using Adobe Acrobat. So click Yes. And then once that happens, you'll see this screen underneath. This shows you that you can create PDF files and all sorts of things, but we're not worried about that today. We're actually going to focus on how to annotate your text. So we're going to close the folder. And then you'll see your design premium will come up. And we're just going to click yes and accept it. And we'll get the screen again. So again, be patient while you're logging in and all of this is happening. And we'll just close this screen. Okay. Now we're going to open a PDF file. I'm actually using a PDF file from Mrs. LaFaciano's class, and I believe Mrs. Miller's class is also using them, and it's the text Touching Spirit Bear. When I open the PDF this time, you'll notice it automatically opens in Acrobat. You'll see it open right up here in the left-hand margin. And once that happens, I have all of these tools at the top that I can use. I can edit the text. I'm going to remove this one. I can. All of these things at the top will allow you to write on the text and do all kinds of things with the text. There are a couple things though before you start writing that need to happen. First, with the screen in front of you, I want you to click on the highlighter key. The highlighter key is at the top of the screen where I'm pointing right now. There is a T, or an, I think it says T, and a yellow looks like pen. You're going to click on that, and then just go down to any point in the text. 
and click on anything. And what's going to happen is you're going to get this little message. This message says, this page contains only an image of a scanned page. There are no text characters. Would you like to run character analysis to try to make the text on this page accessible? Yes, we do. And we're going to click, do not show again. What we're doing is taking the image, the PDF is just reading as an image, almost like a picture, and we're going to make it scan for the actual words that are there. And click, do not show again, and OK. Once we do this, a next screen will pop up. Do we want it to happen on all pages, or the current page, or just to select few pages? We want it to run on all of our pages. So make sure it's clicked, and then hit OK. And what will happen now is it's scanning all of the characters in the PDF file and it's looking for actual words. And you'll see that this one is actually tilted sideways and so in a minute it will make it go the right direction. It'll flip it the right direction. Okay, so now when I click on the highlight tool I can highlight and it actually highlights the text. I can write a comment on the text and tell you what I'm thinking about the text. If you don't like it, you can delete it. If you don't like what you've highlighted, you can delete it. And if you go to view, you can go to, oops, if you go to view, and tools there are other things that you can pull up and actually write on your text if I click tools here it takes me to the same thing and I can continue to rotate or I can delete something I can crop that sort of thing but for now I want you click on comment right up here and when comment comes up you'll see that you can do a number of things under annotations annotations is what you're doing when you're writing on a text you can comment you can highlight you can actually record yourself you can write a text right on here Again, it pops up and it highlights it all at the same time. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to delete it. You can do strike throughs, so maybe you don't like something. Or maybe your teacher wants you to underline things that are important, highlight things that you can connect to, and maybe scratch out things that aren't important to you. Whatever you choose to do, will be based on what your instructor wants you to do and um, what you ultimately want to do with your texts online. So I'm going to do a really quick review. First, to install, go to Go, Applications, Adobe Acrobat, you'll take it, slide it down to the bottom. Once it's in your dock and it stays there, Remember, I had a couple of issues, so just be calm while it's trying to load. Then you'll open it, and when you open your, Acad your Adobe Acrobat Pro, a couple of boxes will pop up. If you've forgotten, rewind this video and watch. Every time you open a text, you can preview it in Acrobat. If it's a brand new text, you will click on it, try to highlight, and it will tell you it can't and you will run that little process that we just walked through. And then to comment and to have more um, options for annotating your text, click on comment, you can comment, highlight, um, add all kinds of things at the top, including your own voice, and strike through, underline, and highlight, and text it all at once. Then you can save this and send it back to your teacher, upload it to Edmodo or your blog, or just have it for your own references. If you have any help at all, come see Ms. Locke in the library and I'll try to help you out. Thank you.